Okay, hi, good evening ladies and gentlemen, card of the day series is back and tonight I'm gonna talk about a card uh, which is definitely a long awaited piece for commander players around the world and this is no other than Smothering Tide. So this card was released in the latest uh, Ravnica set, it's a 4 mana enchantment and whenever an opponent draws a card they can pay 2 mana. If they don't, we can generate a treasure token, which we can sacrifice later for any color of mana. So why this card is so important, because white in commander had traditionally been pretty bad at generating excess mana, therefore uh, was up to a much slower start than any other deck around the table. So white players, you know, wasn't really spoiled up until now, because if we think about a 4 player commander table, we can generate 3 access mana every turn from this card. Because let's just be honest, no one is gonna pay 2 mana just to prevent us from getting 1 mana. So that's, this can lead to a lot faster start, for example, uh, costing our commander like Avacyn, which is usually high costing cost but tremendous impact so definitely a key card for commander but what is more interesting that the card may have some standard potential here in this case i was looking at some combos with for example revel in riches in like a black white control uh, type build where we are really really good at basically removing creatures and can easily hit that 10 treasure as a result we lost the game. Also there is a, another interesting card, Rampage of the Clans, recently released, uh, which destroys all artifacts and enchantments at an instant speed and we can generate 3-3 uh, three, three green centaur tokens for each of them. So if we have like 7 treasure tokens lying around, that's a pretty, pretty significant army. And last but not least, uh, from the set of Dominaria, the Antiquities War, uh, which the first two chapters might become handy in a deck like this, uh, to be able to find additional ancient, uh, additional artifacts from our deck. But what is really exciting is the third chapter. If we have like, again, couple of treasure tokens, 4, 5, 6, 7, lying around, uh, converting them to 5-5 five, five creatures, that's a pretty significant threat. So let me know in the comment section what you think about any of these combo potentials and thanks for your attention and see you next time.